listen. Hopefully it's well, but listen, then tell Wally where you at. June, where you at, Wally? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I'm ready! Let's get it, DNT! Let's go! No more excuse! Forget Joshua just doesn't let me ready in time! Let's do this! June, live at all two! Let's get it! I'm number one, baby! Let's go! Let's go! That's it! It's bomb boy. Dante Wilder sucks. You know what Dante Wilder sucks? Let me break this down for all of his his bum boys and all these little fanboys and internet that like sucking him off. Anthony Joshua lose. He was so over the moon, he was so happy. Dude, there's half of you over a hundred million to fight him. You made four or five million to fight Luis Ortiz, bruv. Are you stupid? Are you fucking stupid? What is the real black hillbilly? He's a proper hillbilly. We gonna get him, boy. He ain't gonna get himself. We gonna get him. Get, get him, boy. He's the real hillbilly. He, that guy is so stupid. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the share button as you come on in. Big shout out to all the sponsors of the channel. All the information is in the description box. And follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at Box with G5 Jeff TV. I was reading an article on Boxing News 24. Big shout out to Boxing News 24. <laughs> and Dillian White back at it. He thinks Deontay Wilder is absolutely crazy and thinks it's ridiculous for him to take the actual trilogy fight against Tyson Fury. He feels like Deontay Wilder should have took the step aside money so Tyson Fury can fight Anthony Joshua in a unification fight at heavyweight now of of course Dillian White is going to say that because he don't like Deontay Wilder Deontay Wilder don't like Dillian White it's one of the best boxing rivalries going on right now and they may never step into the ring <laughs> against each other but they are hilarious when you hear one talking about the other now of course Dillian White He's been at the top of the WBC rankings for a long period of time. And he never got his WBC title shot. So, of course, he's saying that because the quicker Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury fights, the quicker he's the first guy that the first mandatory they're going to have to fight. So, of course, Dillian White is looking out for Dillian White as he should. But to be honest with you, I would love to see Deontay Wilder versus Dillian White. Like, I don't care if there's a belt on the line or not. I don't care if there's a belt on the line or not. Dillian White, Deontay Wilder, like, that's a fight. That is a fight. And prior to Deontay Wilder losing to Tyson Fury, prior to Deontay Wilder even having the first fight with Tyson Fury, I know uh, me and VP of Operations over here on G5 Jeff TV, uh, Shane, we always say, like, in order to beat the bully, you got to bully the bully. You got to back the bully up. You have to be willing to go in the kitchen and fight fire with fire with the bully. And that's something that Dillian White is definitely down to do. You understand what I'm saying? So if Dillian White and Deontay Wilder was to fight, I honestly think Deontay Wilder would have to show more than just a right hand to actually beat Dillian White if Dillian White is on his A game that particular night man that that would be a great great fight but in the grand scheme of things I, I do think Dillian White is really just looking out for himself which he should but at the same time Deontay Wilder had to take this trilogy he had to take it even if deep down he feel like he's not ready for it he had to take it because his whole persona his whole brand his whole build-up in terms of who he is as a fighter and as a person is based off of him fighting when the chips are down you know what i'm saying like and it was in his contract he had it negotiated in his contract that he could exercise a rematch clause as a champion you are allowed to do that like so why not take the trilogy and if you win the trilogy, then you are free to fight Anthony Joshua probably in Saudi Arabia where you're probably going to make the majority of that money back that you turned down in that three fight the zone deal. And that's just what it is at the end of the day. But whenever it's Dillian White and Deontay Wilder, 
and Dillian White's talking about Deontay Wilder it is pure entertainment, so I had to bring it to y'all attention. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.